One. Hello, Jessie Ware. How are you? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? I'm very well. Thank yeah. you for asking. <laughs> I can only apologise for my appearance today. I look like a schoolboy on sports day. I love who's it. Who's brought the wrong shoes in. It's a sunny day, everyone. We're pre-recording this back in the end of July, and I've got flip-flops on, as you can see. I've attached yep. some plasters there, because they rub a little bit. Oh, dear. Aww. Is this a strong look, do you think? It's a really strong look. It's kind of gap year slash beach bum slash kind of preppy. I like yeah. it. Which, slash. I just said slash too many times. Yeah. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Someone somewhere is getting off on that, let me tell oh, you. God, no, yeah, not. some pervert who searches for specific websites slash. on the internet. Slash. Well, I look like my mum, so don't worry. I look like a middle-aged kind of You've gone mom. for denim on top. Not a great radio chat, is it? Because no. the people can hopefully try and imagine this. I've got these shoes on that my boyfriend absolutely hates. He right. thinks they're the most disgusting, disgusting shoes ever. So, What is the political situation there when one person in a relationship hates what the other person wears. Often, if my girlfriend says to me, mm, that t-shirt's not looking great, I'll wear defiantly it. wear it. No, but you just latch on to that one person that said it looks good, and then you just go, well, they, they thought it was good. Yeah, so. I look good, whatever. Works the other way as well. The maxi dress. Now, by and large, I think they can be nice. Yeah. She's quite short. It kind of looks like she's a ghost when she wears <laughs> one. <laughs> So, I, does she like a maxi dress as well? Well, she well she would like to like a maxi dress, but every Aww. time she buys one, I say, I'm not sure about that maxi dress. It's like me with batty riders, can't wear them. A what? <laughs> uh, a hot pants. Is that what they're called, batty riders? I don't know. Yeah, I just said it in a really posh way, so yeah. I should probably just stick <laughs> with hot riders. pants. Yeah. yeah. So as I mentioned earlier, this is being pre-recorded, which means by the time it's been out, the Olympics will have happened. Yeah. And everyone will be talking about the opening ceremony. It's the sort yeah, of big yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Now we will feel slightly out of place in terms of a, a contemporary chat if we don't have a talk about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Problem is we don't know what's coming. So can we broadly speculate on what it might be as if it's already happened, and then we can just play that out and hope that we get a few hits like a psychic would. Paul McCartney did a somersault yeah. with his guitar. I've that never seen nice. anything like it. What did you think about the bit with uh, Christopher Biggins and the cannon? Showstopper. At one stage I thought the show was going to be stopped because they seemed to have to lubricate him out of it. But, <laughs> but I, I thought it was still very moving. <laughs> I think one of the things that surprised me was I never expected to see a member of the royal family riding a loft on 200 tethered together geese. Is that something that you thought you'd see in your lifetime? I thought it would be on Dachshunds, but no, it was really, no, it was excellent. And the royal that they chose was particularly inspired, I thought. What did you, what did you think of the choice? <laughs> she still looks good, doesn't she? She yeah. does still look good. <laughs> she does still look she good. She was so elegant on those geese, yeah. Um, did you think it was in any way tasteless when Sir Patrick Stewart emerged nude and crying from a perfectly scaled up the JJ? <laughs> Because some people are saying that it was tasteless, <laughs> other people are saying it was art. It was kind of like the birth of, it was quite embryonic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And no. I've never heard such well-projected crying, have you? <laughs> Everyone could hear from it. From who? The crowd? No, from, uh, from Patrick Stewart. Oh, right. From the diaphragm. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Shakespeare, but it certainly sounded like it. Mm. That's good, we've covered our bases there, Chris, right? So we should talk about you. <laughs> so as as it occurs now, we're sometime in mid-August when yeah. this is going out, which means that your album, Devotion, may be coming out either Tomorrow now or, or soon. Yeah. What can we expect? Lots of love songs, a rap by my producer. Yeah, just me saying love a lot. You're yeah. a lovey-dovey person, then. Yeah. I how long so. have you been with your boyfriend? Since we were 18. Since you were 18. And how old are you now, dare I ask? 27. Where is the ring? Has he proposed yet? Oh, my God. He's accidentally proposed twice. <laughs> bought me a Christmas um, present when we were 21 and it was an engagement ring hold on I'll just show oh, you oh there it is and he was like happy Christmas babe and I said sorry what's going on and, and he went and I said that's an engagement ring and he was like I'm definitely not proposing to you and then he bought me this as a joke just to, for my birthday last uh, yeah. year another, another ring another, on another necklace. ring on the necklace but yeah there's no ring on the on surely the, it's the only a matter yet. of time are you applying any, any level of pressure there I ask him every night and he says, go to sleep. As you cry tears into your pillow. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'll happen. It'll happen sometime soon. Well, that's nice. So the album is sort of a love note to him, is it? Not really. No? We had a two-year break and it's oh, all about no. the wrong uns that I met. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, running. It's not about me, is it, babe? I said, no, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so 
does pose a quandary for album two, doesn't it? I'm going to have to break up with him, aren't I? going to have to break up for a bit, yeah. Right. And join a dating website or something. <laughs> yeah, to get some material. Yeah. Go on some dates. Either that or just take a new career path and write songs about going to the club. Yeah.